Dear students, welcome back. This is Dr. Biju Gautam. In this video, we will discuss Chapter Nine Point One Six Divergence Theorem. Let's read the statement. Let re and uh, let D be a closed and bounded region in three space with a piecewise smooth boundary S. Do we have an example for this? Mm. This is an example for that. A cube, isn't it? Let this be x axis. I'm oh, sorry, this is x axis, this is y axis, this is z axis. <coughs> this is the example of let D be a closed and bounded region in three spaces. In the three dimension space, this is a closed bounded region. Piece with smooth boundary. Every boundary is uh, piece wise. This is boundary surface 1, this is surface 2, this side you find surface 3, and this side you find surface 4, this side you find surface 5, and the opposite side you will find surface 6. There are six surfaces piece wise. And just like our when you draw a rectangle, they are piecewise curves, isn't it? Piecewise smooth curves. C1, C2, C3, C4 are piecewise smooth curves uh, bounding this region in two space. So similarly, the this is the uh, region in three dimensional space which is bounded by smooth uh, surfaces, smooth piecewise uh, surfaces, right? And uh, let f be a function vector field vector field for which p q r p is a function of x y z q is a function of x y z r is also a function of x y z this p this components p q r are continuous and have continuous first order partial derivatives it means we can differ, differentiate it <coughs> partially with respect to x y and z in this given region if all these conditions are true what you are finding here is some let's see <coughs> what you are finding here is f uh, vector dot product with the n vector and ds ds should be chosen which surface you are integrating there are six surfaces in this one and if it is surface one if surface one is here parallel to x z plane so this side the normal vector is uh, y y axis so j vector J vector. Therefore, if you are dealing with S1, this will be S1 and F vector dot J vector, you will find double integration over S1. You understand? So, there are six surfaces. Instead of finding <coughs> all the six surface integrals for this smooth uh, bounded, for this bounded region, we have a direct application, we have a direct formula find the divergence of this one because if uh, f vector is a fluid flow inside it's a, it's a flow outside divergence is calculated because here we are finding flux through every surface so total flux will be calculated so flux is uh, uh, for flux we find divergence divergence of f and then integrate it over the entire volume <coughs> entire volume dv that is it so instead of integrating over every surface and then summing them up for the left hand side we are finding a volume integration a triple integration over the given volume first we will get some problems to verify this statement at least one is enough because verification is a long process we have to verify all the terms involved in the left hand side and then right hand side application will be of a few steps so more frequently you will get a problem from application Verification is to understand the concept. Okay, here we go. You remember this formula? This is the formula for uh, uh, Gauss. This is actually called Gauss uh, Divergence Theorem. Gauss Divergence Theorem. GDT. Right? Okay. X, uh, exercises. First problem. We are starting with the first problem. Mm. 
we have to go to the one page eh? it will be easier to solve not in this page f is given 6xy i 4y is it j x e raised to negative y k <coughs> is the given vector field f d is the region bounded by three coordinate planes and the plane this kind of work we have already seen isn't it what are the three coordinate planes x x s is so this is uh, x y and is it this plane x uh, y is a plane is called x is zero isn't it this plane x is a plane is called y is zero x y plane is called z is zero this three x equal to zero y equal to zero z equal to zero are the three coordinate planes isn't it so we are in the first column now this is the data head drawn so x intercept is one y intercept is one z is z intercept is one this is it so this this shape bounded by four surfaces the bottom we can call so either this surface you can call s1 bottom you can call s2 the right side this side y is that plane you can call s3 x is that side you can call s4 like a pyramid isn't it we call it uh, not exactly a pyramid this we call it tetrahedron okay here there are four surfaces as per the formula double integral s f vector dot n vector ds is equal to triple integral integral over the <coughs> three space d volume d divergence of f dv this is what we are going to do isn't it so there are six uh, there are four surfaces for every surface we will find this double integral and we add them and then we will check whether this is equal to the divergence integration of the divergence over the volume now let's start the problem in the white page i will write the function again f vector is f vector is Six x y i four y z j plus x into e raised to minus y k vector. The region is bounded by three coordinates, coordinate planes, and <coughs> and x plus y plus z is equal to. One. So when you roughly draw. The graph will be looking like this. The draw head down. This is is the axis. This is x axis and this is y axis. Intercepts are one because x over a, y over b, z over c is equal to one. That is the format of this kind of hmm, this kind of um, shapes. So you know that this is one. One here, one here. So zero, zero, one. More precisely, one zero zero, zero one zero. They are the points. Okay. Now what to start with? Write the formula of the theorem again. Double integral, f vector, n vector, f dot n vector ds over s is equal to triple integral. Over d divergence of x vector d vector. Let's first to find the right hand side, which is going to be easy. Mm. Divergence of f vector. <coughs> yes. Divergence of f vector is nothing but a del vector dot f vector. So what is del operator? Do by do x i plus do by do y j. Plus do by do is at k. This is del operator. Dot product with a f vector. Six x y i plus four y is at j. 
plus x into e raised to minus y k vector. Now dot product i dot i will be 1. So differentiate this term with respect to x. Divergences. So what do you get? Dou by dou x of 6xy plus dou by dou y of 4y is it? dou by dou z of x into e raised to minus 4. We know when you differentiate partially with respect to one variable, the other variable will be considered a constant. So the first term you will get um, 6y. The second term will give you 4z plus 4z. Third term there is no z, it will be 0. So this is the divergence which is going to be used in equation number 1 here. Now dy, dv, actually dv is um, dx, dy, dz and the limits of x are to be found for the, uh, for this tetrahedron from the from the tetrahedron, from the equation. Not all constants, when all the limits are constant you will get a, a cube, isn't it? Parallel pipod or a cube when all the limits are constant, not all constant, this is a different shape. Isn't it? Okay, so we have to find the limits of first choose the order accordingly, find the limits from this one. This is uh, yeah, let it be your second equation. Okay, now let's go to the next space. Let's find the limits. <coughs> we know they are bounded by coordinate planes, x is 0 is called y is at plane y is 0 is called x is at plane and z is 0 is called x y plane so they are the lower limits they are bounded by coordinate planes and then this equation number 2 isn't it? so lower limits are 0 upper limits have to be found from here okay here we go that is it uh, from equation number 2 we get z is equal to 1 minus x minus y so, and we know z is 0, z is when, when you substitute z equal to 0, let this be equation number 3. In 3, it will give you uh, 0 is equal to 1 minus. Now, y becomes, y becomes, now y is equal to 1 minus x this is your equation number 4 and again lower limit uh, y equal to 0 in 4 gives x is equal to 1 so only the last integration variable gets the constant limits here we go now the right hand side of this integration is giving you triple integral over the wall. this is 0 to 1 minus x minus y 4 is it so let us start with respect to z first, y second, x last. y limits are 0 to 1 minus x and z, uh, x limits are 0 to 1. And the divergence of f should be written here in 6y plus 4z. 6y plus 4z. Now we have to integrate that's all. Integrate and substitute upper and lower limit. Mm. integration with respect to z so remaining integrals are 0 to 1 uh, 0 to 1 minus x 6 y z plus uh, 4 z square over 2 will be 2 z square isn't it 0 to 1 minus x minus 5 z will be replaced by this value Okay. What's next? Simply substitute upper limit, lower limit is 0. Substitute upper limit for z. So this is equal to 0 to 1 uh, integral 0 to 1 minus x and 6y into 1 minus x minus 1 plus 2 times. 2 times 1 minus x minus y whole square this is what we get next dy and dx 
we have to expand and simplify use this expansion a minus b minus c whole square so i will write it here integral 0 to 1 integral 0 to 1 minus x 6y is multiplied instead so you get 6y minus 6xy minus 6y square this is to be expanded hmm? and multiply by 2x okay let it be separate term two, two terms two times see the formula of a minus b minus c whole square a square so one square one x square plus y square minus two times a and b mm, a and b two times x minus two times mm, b and c and when you multiply these two it will be plus 2 times xy minus 2 times y close this one and close the outer limit this will be dy dx now let's go to the next page this will be further simplified as uh, 0 to 1 minus x Simplify all the terms, isn't it? Then you will get this form 2y minus 2xy minus 4y square plus 2 plus 2x square minus 4x D, uh, dy and dx. Now, integration with respect to y takes place here. Outer integral is 0 to 1 with respect to x remaining. This one is 2y square over 2. So 2 will be cancelled only y square. Minus 2xy square by 2 again xy square. Minus 4y cube over 3. Plus 2y. 2x square y minus 4xy. And the limits of y are 0 to 1 minus x dx. Substitute upper and lower limits. Lower limit is 0, so only upper limit to be substituted for y. It will be 0 to 1. This will be replaced with the upper limit 1 minus x square minus x times 1 minus x square minus 4 over 3 y cube 1 minus x cube plus 2 into 1 minus x plus 2x square into 1 minus x minus 4x into 1 minus x final integration is with respect to x simplify this one simplify uh, multi multiply this x here this 4 by 3 expand this one multiply 4 by 3 inside and uh, all this has been done I just write the next simplified step isn't it? I take okay. This is one minus x of four square. This is also one minus x of four square. One minus x. Uh -huh. Okay, there is no other y square, everything is y. Everything is y. Okay, next. We have to simplify this one. From the first two terms, so outside integral remaining, 1 minus x square is taken as common, 1 minus x whole square. So this will be 1 minus x. Okay, here. 1 here x that's it minus minus um, what we are doing next is this is 4 over 3 1 minus x 4 cube from, from the remaining terms we can take 2 times 1 minus x as common term then it will be 1 in the first term x square in the second term minus 2 times x in the last term isn't it? Now dx 
further if you look into this one mm -hmm. this will be 1 minus x whole cube so here there is a 1 minus x whole cube take 1 minus x whole cube as a common term 1 minus x whole cube then the first term will be 1 second term will be minus 4 over 3 plus 2 into 1 minus x these three terms 1 square plus x square minus 2 into 1 into x this will be 1 minus x whole square so 1 minus x whole square the next step what we get is this simplify 3 minus 4 divided by 3 so it will be minus 1 by 3 and here again 1 minus x whole cube times 2 so from both the terms we are going to take 1 minus x whole cube so integral 0 to 1 1 minus x whole cube is taken out so this term becomes 3 minus 4 over 3 is minus 1 by 3 this term becomes 2 isn't it minus 1 over 3 plus 2 and dx now we have simplified both terms all the terms so. okay this is constant my constant minus uh, 6 minus 1 5 over 3 so 5 over 3 is constant integral 0 to 1 1 minus x whole cube dx you can use substitution method to further integrate or i can directly write the answer of 5 over 3 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by negative 4 okay because x the variable x is in negative so you get negative 4 outside use u is equal to 1 minus x then what is du it is negative dx so dx is negative du what happens here in this integral 0 to 1 u cube negative du so negative out isn't it so it will be u raised to 4 over 4 so 1 minus x whole raised to 4 over negative 4 is coming out and the limits are 0 to 1 substitute upper and lower limit this is 5 over negative 12 x is 1 gives 0 minus x 0 gives 1 negative 1 so the answer is 5 over 12 the right hand side is 5 over 12 now we are going to deal with the uh, surfaces of the left hand side surfaces of the left hand side right okay this is our right hand side now there are four uh, surfaces in the left hand side to be dealt with mm, let's go again draw this petra had done for a reference this is x and y and z okay Mm, in this case we have four different surfaces we carefully choose them surface one let the surface one be the this this one this one leaning towards z and isn't it let s1 will be there. so uh, we are doing double integral over s the f vector dot n vector ds so first mm, over s1 s1 is given as mm, x plus y plus uh, z is equal to 1 so we can write z is equal to 1 minus x minus y therefore this is your f f x is minus 1 and f y is also minus 1 therefore we can find d is ds ds what is it square root of 1 plus fx square and f y square da let the da be x y we are projecting it on x y plane so that is why this x and y Mm. so 1 plus 1 plus 1 let this 
dy dy dx or uh, dx dy accordingly you choose at the end isn't it both the uh, it's on xy plane depending on the type 1 or type 2 will choose xy or yx this is ds is equal to square root of 3 times dea now this part is done f dot n vector what is n vector for this surface how do you find n vector again this one should be considered as phi phi is x plus y plus z minus 1 is 0 phi is a function of 3 variables now so phi x differential with respect to x 1 phi y phi y is 1 and phi z is also 1 therefore gradient of phi del phi is 1 times i 1 times j 1 times k and norm of this del phi will be will be 1 square plus square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 isn't it that is going to be root 3 so we got del phi and the root 3 so what is n vector which is del phi over norm del phi which is i i plus j plus k over rho square root of 3 so we got n vector we have f vector and everything so next is to find f dot n for this surface we will find f vector what is f vector can you recall this f vector six x y i vector four y is it j vector x into e raised to minus y k vector okay now n vector is known n vector is i vector j vector k vector over so 3 then what is f dot n vector that is the question f dot n vector i goes with the i isn't it so root square root of 3 1 over root 3 will be there and i at i 6 x y plus 4y z plus x into e raised to minus y okay almost we got everything now double integral over s1 f vector dot n vector ds is equal to s1 we will choose x y or y x theta mm. this is x 6 x y plus 4 y z plus x into e raised to minus y over root 3 and this ds will be uh, square root of 3 times d now this square root of root 3 will be cancelled on both sides d a when you project on x y plane um, we know this is and this is x axis this is y x go back when you project this is it when you take z equal to 0 it is on the ground so in the, on the ground this is the surface this is the surface isn't it now we are not doing double integration to directly take the area distributed integration so um, okay instead of double integration d a but not area if there is a function here if there is no function here it will give the area of the triangle okay there is a function here we have to integrate this function over this triangle here x is also one unit y is also one unit so this is the uh, let it be type 1 or type 2 as you wish hmm. will we take uh, type 1 when you take type 1 region you have to you have to choose you will have to write dy 
dx so limit of y will be taken from this trip lower limit is 0 upper limit is on this curve actually what is this equation this is x plus y is equal to 1 because when intersecting with the 1 and 1 it is x plus y equal to 1 otherwise from the equation x plus y plus z is equal to 1 take z equal to 0 what you get x plus y is equal to 1 so that is the equation of the straight line so what is y here y is 1 minus x and the distance for x is this one 0 to 1 so almost we are done now uh, this will be uh, 0 uh, double integral uh, y we will write we will write this one 6xy plus 4yz plus x into e4 minus y we will write da as root 3 root 3 has been cancelled da as dy uh, dx now the limits of y will be 0 to 1 minus x limit of x will be 0 to 1 that's if you integrate this one you get um, uh, flux over one surface that's one and this has to be done for the remaining three surfaces we will do it okay um, okay let's integrate this one integrate this one let us start integration before integration we have to notice that we are integrating with respect to y and x so there is an z this value should be replaced what is this and z is equal to 1 minus x minus 1 this should be used here on this place of z that will be done on the next page mm, so the double integral over s1 is going on okay mm, what is it double integral x is from 0 to 1 y is from 0 to 1 minus x terms have to be corrected from here 6xy 4y 6xy plus 4y times 1 minus x minus y that is z and the last term is uh, last term is x times e raised to y x times e raised to negative y and dy dx which is simplify for one more step then you can integrate 6xy plus 4y minus 4xy 4xy minus 4y square plus x into e raised to minus y dy dx you know this is 4y 4y square all these are distinct but here 6xy minus 4x so further one more step 6xy minus 4xy is 2xy 2xy plus 4y minus 4y square plus x times e raised to minus y now we start integration the first integration with respect to y is going to be done so outer integration remains here the first we when you integrate y y square over 2 2 can be cancelled with 2 you will get x y square plus 4 y square over 2 2 and 4 will be can 4 and 2 can cancel it will be 2 y square minus 4 y cube over 3 and when we are integrating with respect to y so x remains x e raised to minus y divided uh, minus 1 that can be here minus 1 now the limits of y 0 to 1 minus x we have to substitute and then integrate with respect to x substitute y over y comes replace it by 1 minus x square so x times y square 2 times y square Mm. 
and then we simplify everything okay next page single in direction 0 to 1 open it up x y square sub lower limit is 0 so ignore it upper limit x into 1 minus x four square x into 1 minus x four square next term 2 times y square again 2 times 1 minus x four square minus 4 y cube 3 so minus 4 1 minus x 4 cube by 3 finally finally x into e raised to minus y minus y is again this minus x into e raised to minus 1 minus x but remember when you substitute lower limit 0 all these terms will be 0 but not exponential e power 0 will be 1 so there is one more term when you substitute lower limit um, minus this is for upper limit this is for upper limit okay now this for upper limit minus 0 you apply is uh, all lower limit is 0 everywhere you get first term is 0 second term is 0 third term is 0 minus the last term is for y x remains here e raised to y y will be 0 e raised to 0 will be 1 and then dx this equals 0 to 1 mm. x into 1 minus x square plus 2 into 1 minus x whole square this is minus x whole square minus 4 over 3 1 minus x whole cube minus x e raised to x minus 1 simply just change the sign that's it finally this minus and this minus it will be plus x dx and So when we integrate this term, we will get oh, divide, expand this one first, 0 to 1, x times, x times 1 minus 2x plus x square plus 2 times 1 minus 2x plus x square, the expansion of this one, right? minus 4 over 3 let this term be 1 minus x whole cube plus x and minus x into e raised to x minus 1 can be done separately that should be integrated by using integration by parts so further simplification will give multiply x inside x minus 2 x square plus x cube plus multiply 2 instead for this one 2 minus 4x plus 2x square minus 4 over 3 1 minus x whole cube plus x we will integrate this term separately minus x into e raised to x minus 1 dx this can be done by using parts direction by parts this is from again 0 to 1 and you simplify this one you get 0 to 1 this is an x cube minus 2x square and plus 2x square will be 0 mm, minus 4x positive x and another positive x will be minus 2x and there is a constant 2 plus 2 then minus 4 over 3 
1 minus x whole cube and second integration is minus 0 uh, from 0 to 1 minus from 0 to 1 x times e raised to x minus 1 dx now integrate the first power and substitute upper and lower limits you will get which is equal to after integration you will get first term will be x power 4 over 4 check this x cube x power 4 over 4 this will become 2 x square over 2 will be minus x square third term 2 is constant so 2 x it will be minus 4 over 3 integration of this term will be 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by negative 4 isn't it 1 minus x to the power 4 divided by negative 4 and this is from 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 x into e power x minus 1 dx we will do uh, this integration separately and finish this one first substitute upper limit you will get to 1 over 4 minus 1 plus 2 minus 4 over 3 into 4 over 3 minus 4 the denominator will be cancelled it will be positive when x is 1 it will be 0 this time is 0 for upper limit minus lower limit all terms are zeros first three terms are zeros minus 4 and this minus 4 will be positive 1 over 3 when x is 0 it is 1 so this is what we get minus this integration will be done I will let I will solve this one first let me finish this one this is <coughs> this part is 0 minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 so 1 over 4 plus 1 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 and now when you integrate this one what do you get is uv minus u so what is u u is x dv is equal to e power x minus 1 dx therefore v is equal to e power x minus 1 and the formula integral u dv gives u v minus integral v du this will be u is x v is x into e power x minus 1 from 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 e raised to x minus 1 dx so the first time when you have substitute 1 it will be x is 1 e power 0 is 1 so 1 and x is 0 everything will be 0 for lower limit minus minus e power x minus 1 to the from 0 to 1 so what you get here is 1 minus this term will be when x is 1 uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, e power 0 is 1 minus when x is 0 it will be uh, e power minus 1 so that is the integration of this one isn't it? so minus this 1 minus 1 will be 0 so minus and minus will be positive positive mm, is it? minus 1 but there is a minus here this will be this minus 2 minus 2 will be positive and this will be negative so it will be negative it will be negative verify clear clearly this is minus minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 1 plus and minus e power minus t so this will be cancelled finally you get minus e power minus t when you simplify this one you will get 12 3 plus 12 minus minus 4 so 15 minus 4 e power minus t the answer is 11 over 12 minus e power minus t 
minus t this is over s1 the integration is over s1 so first over one surface we have done there are other surfaces isn't it there are other surfaces for this and now we have done with this surface which is s1 now let us take surface 2 as xy plane this one xy plane isn't it for this surface 2 uh, we know obviously the outward unit normal vector is downward uh, in this direction it is k so opposite direction just negative k therefore n vector is negative k vector and therefore double integral over s2 f vector dot n vector ds ds becomes dx dy without simplification on the xy plane that is dx dy isn't it Mm, because we can write this plane as mm, z is equal to 0 so when you change ds it will be 1 times da which is dx dy mm, so what happens here find f dot n f vector dot n vector f vector is f vector is mm, f vector is six um, x y i plus four y is a j plus x into e power minus y k vector dot k vector n vector is k negative k vector so it will be this one only last time minus x e power minus y that will be f dot n now we are going to integrate this term in this uh, triangle in this triangle isn't it so therefore double integral now oh, this triangle will be like this one both the sides are one therefore this equation is x plus y is equal to one you can write further y is equal to one minus x if you take vertical strip it will be zero to y and the distance of x will be zero to one so the limit of over s2 the limit of x is zero to one the limit of y is zero to one minus x n minus x and the function to integrate is minus x into e raised to minus y mm, dx or dy dx isn't it we are considering type uh, type 1 region now this is to be integrated with respect to y so x negative x negative is outside x remains there mm integration of e raised to minus y is e raised to minus y divided by minus 1 this will be positive and from 0 to 1 minus x dx substitute the upper and lower limit it will be e raised to minus 1 minus x minus e raised to 0 is 1 dx so now multiply x inside and then integrate right becomes so becomes next step double integral over s2 is becoming now 0 to 1 x is multiplied inside so x raised to e power minus 1 minus x and minus x dx go back here isn't it this is x into e raised to 1 uh, e raised to minus 1 minus x so minus can be put inside so that this term okay we can integrate separately this one by direction by parts this one by direct integration isn't it we can do it here
there is there is zero to one x into e raised to minus one minus x minus integral this is dx minus zero to one x dx for this integration take u is equal to x uh, dv is equal to e raised to x is positive negative and negative x is positive for x minus 1 dx so v will be when you integrate this one v will be e raised to x minus 1 divided by 1 therefore u v minus u dv integral u dv becomes u v minus integral v d u that is equal to u v u is x v is e power x minus 1 from 0 to 1 minus integral e power x minus 1 dx substitute x as 1 in the first term x is 1 e power 0 this is 1 when x is 0 everything will be 0 first term is like this minus when you integrate this one e raised to x minus 1 over 1 that is nothing else from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 so finally you will get 1 minus when x is 1 e power 0 will be 1 minus my uh, e power 0 will be sorry minus minus when x is 0 it will be e power minus 1 this is what you get so 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 1 is positive e raised to minus 1 is the output of this integration and here you get x square over 2 from 0 to 1 x square is uh, replaced by 1 so 1 square over 2 e raised to minus 1 minus 1 over 2 this is over second surface and we have two more surfaces Uh. okay here there is no z is available so we have no way to put z equal to zero but the next surface over s3 let's take in this graph let's take s3 is in this graph we are done with this surface and the ground one and this is s1 this is s2 done now we take s3 as uh, y is it plane this side y is it plane this is your s3 so over s3 So over S3, what are they? And this is Y Z plane. So X is zero, basically DX if there is any zero. So the derivation C simplification will be DS will be DY and DZ, right? So double integral, of course N vector in this this direction X direction it is I vector. So opposite direction it is N vector is negative I vector. So first let's find f vector dot n vector. F vector is mm, again we have to write the vector six x y i plus four y z mm, j plus x into e raised to minus k dot i vector so i vector goes with the i vector you will get 6 x y but if this will be 0 since x is 0 so f dot n is 0 obviously the double integral over s3 will be f dot n vector ds will be 0 similarly you will find this surface s4 which is 
x is a surface so ds will be dx and d is it this equation of the surface is the surface is y is 0 right okay mm, dx d is it uh, obviously what you find here is uh, y is 0 and dy is also 0 so here everywhere y is available the f function y is 0 all the three terms will be 0 oh, no here it will not be 0 but what is the normal vector unit normal vector n vector n vector this direction n vector is j so opposite direction it will be negative j f vector dot n vector so now along over s4 which is and this one x z plane x z plane isn't it okay f dot n vector negative j goes with this term this term so negative 4y is it it will be and it will, f dot n will be 0 since y is 0 in this plane okay when f dot n is 0 the doubling direction over s4 will be 0 so we have to for left hand side for left uh, for left hand side we need to add double integral over s1 double integral over s2 double integral over s3 plus double integral over s4 four surfaces this answer is 11 over 12 minus a raised to minus 1 second answer is a power minus 1 minus half minus uh, minus uh, plus plus e power minus half minus half third integral relation is zero fourth integral relation is zero simplify this one e, this will be zero uh, 11 over 12 minus 1 over 2 can be written as 11 minus 6 over 12 isn't it so this is 5 over 12 which is our right hand side you can go back to check the right hand side result what is it the right hand side is 5 over 12 so we have verified it for this problem um, greens and uh, divergence theorem divergence theorem has been verified and the next problem is for application we just need one problem to understand how the verification can be done and here after we will use this one to solve problems mm, of applications isn't it we when you are supposed to use the divergence theorem you find only the right hand side use triple integral and then finish it is it okay we will need some more pages and be back okay let's go and take the previous problems uh, i mean the problem that is coming after this so this one has been done the next problem we will take from the solution see there are four problems to be solved to use divergence theorem find the outward flux outward flux so total flux you are finding actually when you find volumes f has been given here this is the surface the sphere actually the sphere uh, over the sphere um, or the volume of the sphere we are going to get so first problem we will solve it on this separate sheet Uh, the vector f is 4xi plus yj plus 4zk and the region d is a sphere which is given as x square plus y square plus s square is equal to 2 square right or radius is 2 
now what it says divergence theorem divergence theorem says that f dot n vector among all the surfaces and some uh, find and sum them up it will be equal to triple integral over the volume of the function of the sphere dv which is divergence of f so let's first find the divergence of f what is divergence of f del vector dot f vector which is differentiate this one with respect to first part with respect to x so which is 4 times i dot i isn't it I will be 1 differentiate this one with respect to y it will be 1 differentiate the third element with respect to z it will be 4 that's it because all these elements will be having done we have done already the divergence check the divergence the divergence is 9 9 isn't it now when you use the divergence here is constant to keep the divergence out the triple integral over volume tv this is over sphere so we have to find the volume of the sphere which is volume of the sphere of radius which is 2 what is the formula of volume of the sphere 4 over 3 pi r square r is 2 r square isn't it so simplify this one you will get um, this is 3 into 4 into 4 mm. this is pi r cubed 4 by 3 pi r cubed uh, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed cube so this is 8 8 into 4 multiply by 32 it will multiply by simplify 3 and 3 can be considered 3 into 4 12 12 into 8 and 6 5 ok that's the end of the first problem um, go to the second problem um, f has been given as uh, x square i plus 2 y is z uh, j plus 4 z cube k isn't it the limits of x are all constant so we are working on a rectangular box isn't it we are working on a rectangular box x varies from 0 to 1 y varies from 0 to 2 that is 0 to 3 so the formula suggests find the divergence first f vector is product number 6 isn't it product number 6 from test to check f vector is x square i 2y is it j 4 is it cube k So del dot f differentiate this one with respect to x to x this one with respect to y to z this one with respect to z uh, 12 12 z square That is uh, the gradient, isn't it? Now this one has to be integrated. Double integral. Double integral over s. Um, f vector dot n vector ds is equal to triple integral over the volume. Del dot f, which is divergence of f. Dv. This is the formula. So integrate over all the limits of x, y, z are given. So choose choose the order you like. 2x plus 2z plus 12z square we go with dx dy and dz the limit of x is 
innermost 0 to 1 y 0 to 0 to 2 z 0 to 3 just integrate this one when you integrate with respect to z you will find 0 to 3 0 to 2 remains 2 so first we are integrating with respect to x 2 x square over 2 2 z x plus 12 x z square from 0 to 1 dy dz substitute up upper limit lower limit is 0 you get 1 here 2 z plus 12 z square dy dz the next step when you integrate with respect to y you will find no y here so obviously there will be only y y will be introduced 0 2 3 1 plus 2 is it plus 12 is a square y from 0 to 2 and d is it Continue. 0 2 3 when you substitute upper limit 2 it will be 2 2 is constant keep the 2 outside this will be 2 isn't it and now 1 plus 2 is it plus 12 is it is it square differentiate with respect to is it the next page we'll do it which is 2 integration with respect to z is carried out first term 1 will be z 2 z will be 2 z square over 2 12 z square will be 12 z cube over 3 over 3 and from 0 to 3 this will be first term will be 3 second term 2 2 can be cancelled and it will be 9 this will be 4 times 27 and uh, the answer is 2 4 0 answer this is now let's try the third problem third problem This is our third problem, problem number 8. F has been given here. We have to find the divergence and the bound region. The region bounded by z is equal to 0. The limits of z are given. y is equal to x square. Add one more thing. And x equal to 0. Then only the problem will be meaningful. x equal to 0. So, and x equal to 0 should be a limit of this one. Isn't it? Otherwise, it should be given inside the first quadrant okay what kind of shape is this uh, to understand which one is lower limit for this one we we need some taken here right we need to understand what kind of shape is it y square mm, three dimensional space here we have to uh, add on more information and x equal to zero right and in three dimensional space y is equal to x square is and this is x axis this is y axis a paraboloid uh, send uh, about y axis till go uh, isn't it? and is it is equal to 9 minus y is is it plus y is equal to 9 a plane intersecting is it and y at 9 so a kind of space you will find this one a paraboloid cut by a plane such a shape you will find right so so this says that is it is maximum here it is 9 mm. is it is 0 from 0 to oh, 9 minus y that's right And when there is no z, it will be. Uh, you see, it will be when there is no z in the ground. It will be a parabola like this one, where y is nine because x plus z and y intersecting at nine. Y is nine. So when you are in the two-dimensional space to find the limit of x, uh, x and y, this step you will take. 
this will give the limit of y limit of y starts from y is equal to x square and ends set to y equal to 9 so you can get the limits of y from this one obviously the limit of uh, x can be found in this interval from 0 to 3 because when uh, x is 3 y will be 9 when y is 9 x square will be 3 we take positive 3 since x starts from 0 so i think you got some idea about the limits of x y is it x varies from 0 to 3 and y varies from x square to 9 not 9 to x square so it will be in the xy plane it will be looking like this lower limit will be the parabola so x square upper limit will be the line y equal to 9 taken from this one and when z is 0 y will be 9 now the limit of z will be given as given in the problem z 0 to 9 minus y that's it the limits of x y z are given 9 minus y the order should be properly taken and then we need a divergence of f okay we go with the problem on the page okay here what is the divergence what is the vector f vector one more time we will write problem number 8 f vector is f vector is x square plus sin y i plus is a square j plus x y cube k now del dot f which is called a divergence of f vector is when you differentiate this one with respect to x it will be 2x and differentiate this with respect to y 0 this with respect to z 0 so it is 2x divergence is just 2x so double integral over s f vector dot n ds is equal to triple integral and del dot v this is divergence theorem and dv which is triple integral 2x uh, what is the order first z and then y and then x x has constant limit 0 to 3 y has only y has 0 to um, sorry uh, x square to 9 or well, the limits of y will be x square to 9 the limit of z will be 0 to um, 9 minus 9 9 minus y so this is x integrated with respect to z to x z z will be from 0 to 9 minus y and then d is dy dx substitute upper limit it will be 9 minus y so you get 0 to 3 x square to 9 2x into 9 minus y dy dx when you integrate with respect to y this is only y then you can write you can write simply 2x 2 is constant okay. 0 to 3 2x 9 minus y whole square divided by minus 2 because y is negative so that's done for y the limit of y is x square to 9 dx now 2 this 2 will be cancelled you get integral 0 to 3 minus x y should be replaced by 9 so 9 minus 9 will be 0 for upper limit you will get 0 minus lower limit 9 minus um, see this is 9 minus y whole square divided by this is okay minus 2 cancelled now 
y should be replaced by 9 it will be 9 minus 9 0 and then 9 minus x square whole square dx and then in the next step next step you will write in the next page integral integral 0 to 3 negative and negative will be positive isn't it positive x times 9 minus x x times x square minus 9 dx whole square since there is a square for this term I can write this x square minus 9 or 9 minus x square both will be equal and right we keep x square minus 9 whole square dx now let u is equal to x square minus 9 therefore du will be 2x dx so du over 2 will be x dx so x and dx will be du there are 0 to 3 this will be u square du answer is du over 2 so 1 over 2 is outside u cube over 3 from 0 to 3 uh, this is 1 over 6 u cube will be x square minus 9 whole cube from 0 to 3 substitute x equal to 3 this will be <coughs> x is actually 3 isn't it x is 0 to 3 mm, x square 3 square is 9 3 square is 9 minus 9 it will be 0 upper limit will give you 0 minus lower limit x equal to 0 will give you minus 9 to the power 3 so 1 over 6 9 into 9 to 9 you will find 7 to 9 which, which uh, the negative and negative will be positive the answer is 7 to 9 over 6 the book uh, answer is wrong don't follow that one okay something wrong with that procedure so this is the end of this problem and one problem remains problem number 12 mm, we will solve the problem and check the problem number 12 more time this one Problem number 12. F is given. Let's find divergence here itself. Now find the limits x is from 0 to uh, find the limit from using this one. Is it as given given? What is this? x plus y is equal to 2 is a plane intersecting um, x and y axis, isn't it? Okay. At 2 each. Is it equal to x plus y? It's a cone. It will be it will be like this one. This is X and Y. Is it? Is it is equal to three will be a plane like is it equal to three and X plus Y is equal to is it will be a uh, shape like this cone, isn't it? So when you take the limit of Z, it will be from X plus Y to three. So from this one we will find z varies from x plus y to 3 and the limit of y y is from 0 to get y from here y is 2 minus x so when y is 0 x is 2 so the limit of x is 0 to 2 so we got the limits of x, y, z. The function to be integrated is the divergence of f. That's it. So we go to the page. And then problem number 12. f vector we will write again. And then we will find divergence. f vector is 15 x square y i vector plus x square z and j vector plus y raised to 4 k vector the region bounded by now limits uh, first to find divergence divergence of f vector is 
first term should be derivative with respect to x so when you differentiate this one with respect to x it will be 30 x y when you differentiate this one with respect to y it is 0 this one with respect to z it will be 0 the answer is 30 x y for divergence now double integral over s f dot n we are writing the divergence theorem d s is equal to triple integral over v volume divergence of f vector isn't it dv so the function to be integrated is 30 x y triple integral d uh, is it dy dx the limit of z is from we have noted down the limits and z of z will be varying from x plus y to 3 y from 0 to 2 minus x and x is from 0 to 2 first integration is with respect to z so 30 x y and x y is it is it limit is x plus y to 3 the remaining directions are 0 to 2 minus x 0 to 2 dy dx simplify this one double integral 0 to 2 0 to 2 minus x <coughs> 30 x y into z will be 3 minus Three minus x plus y dy dx. So multiply inside. Simplify this is thirty into x. So multiply inside we get integral zero to two integral zero to two minus x. You will get ninety x y minus thirty x square y square minus x square y mm, this will check back it's 30 x y square in a direction with respect to y to be carried out check back 3 into 30 90 x y this minus x times x x y x square y 30 x square y this one y square x okay that's what you know here now differentiate integration with respect to y 0 to 2 90x y square over 2 minus 30x square y square over 2 and 30x y cube over 3 <coughs> which is from 0 to 2 minus 6 so lower limit is 0 not nothing to worry so 0 to 2 after substitute upper limit and this is 45 x y square y square is 2 minus x whole square this is 15 x square y square is again 2 minus x whole square 30 this will be 10 times x into 2 minus x whole cube dx Hmm. How to simplify this one? Simplification has been left to you. Hmm. Simplify, simplify this one. Uh, you can multiply, take the expansion of this one, or you can take two minus x square from first two terms. Simplify this one. X times two minus x square, isn't it? It will be um, fifteen s over three minus x square. It will be. I won't simplify. You can expand this one. Expand and write in uh, highest order. Check the expansion. So I just write the answer here. Minus 5x power 4 plus 45x cube minus 120x square plus 100x. Expand. Expand this one. Expand this one. Expand this one. This one is by using the formula. That one a minus b 
whole cube a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b square b cube using this formula you can expand that one and then multiply 10x inside 15x square inside 45x inside and simplify this will be your term integrate this one term by term this will be x power 5 by 5 this 5 will be cancelled so integration is carried out negative x power 5 plus 45 x power 4 over 4 minus 40 x cube 50 x square check here and x cube over 3 will be 40 x square 15 x, uh, x power 4 45 x power 4 divided by 4, 45 x power 4 divided by 4 finally 50 x square and the limit of x is 0 to 2 substitute the limit upper limit this will be negative 2 power 5 plus 45 2 raised to 4 minus 40 into 8 plus 50 into 4 200 minus 0 everything is 0 so on minus 32 this uh, that is a divided by 4 so 4 180 minus 320 plus 200 isn't it Okay, when you simplify all these things, the answer will be 28. That's the end of this problem. And all the problems have been solved. That's the end of this video. Thank you very much.